After receiving your new cable jump rope, the first thing you should do is measure the right length it should have for you. This step is covered in another video. In this video, we will show you how to adjust your cable jump rope to a desired length. The first way, which already comes preset, is the fixed length. You can simply loosen the screw and you are able to freely adjust the length. As you can see, when the screw is tightened, it prevents the cable from moving and it keeps it at a fixed position. Once you have it set to your desired length, you can just tighten the screw again and the wire will be fixed in place. Tighten it only enough for it to hold. The second option requires some adjustment. To change it to this way of using it, you must first completely unscrew the top screw and take the rubber cap off at the end of the wire. Then, loosen the screw on the extra screw set that came in the package of your limb cable rope so that the wire fits through the circle. Now, insert the wire through the circle and put the rubber cap back on the end of the wire. Finally, move the circle with the screw to the position you want so that the rope has the desired length and tighten the screw. When jumping with the rope set this way, the rope is free to move and become shorter, but it will never get longer. These are the two ways of using the rope. Once you have chosen the method you prefer, have set the screws to the desired positions, and are comfortable with the way it is set, you could consider using a wire cutter to shorten the rope to an inch or so behind where you set the screws, so that you don't have that extra rope hanging and spinning around. When you are satisfied with it, you can put all the pieces away. Take the rope, loop it, and put everything inside the bag, and you are set to go. The advantage of the limb cable rope is that there are two ways of using it, so you are free to choose the one you prefer.